Papa bon Dieu avec nous. Amen. Amen. Mission. To preach the good news of Jesus Christ. Soutez qu'on est en pile mon tap souffri de yon maladie. Rather, whatever disease it was, rather it was cancer. Whatever disease that's terminal, right, that could end people's life instantly. Soutez qu'on n'a pas qu'un monde tap souffri. So ta fe. Soutez qu'on yon monde qui te ka guéri moun sa. Ou moun ap soufri, yo di l pral mouri, men ou kon yon moun ki gen medikaman, moun sa bezwen. E depi moun ki malad la, rencontre avek moun sa, dokte sa, ou whatever sa liye a, ou kon e 100% lap guéri. Eski ou tap di yon moun ou kon e ki malad, eski ou tap di l sa? Ou sinon, est-ce que tu as quitté ça passe comme ça? Ou qu'on est moun sa ka guéri, ou qu'on est moun sa gè position pour le guéri, moun qui malade là, est-ce que tu as prêté silence? Would you have said silence? Knowing that you know someone, you know a healer, you know someone who had the capacity to heal that person completely. Est-ce que tu as prêté silence? Would you have said silence? Or would you have said something to that person that you knew was about to die? Would you have said something? What's the purpose of this? Pour ça m'a dit tout bas ici. The reason for this is that the world is dying. Le mon la peri. Mon la a peri a cause de peshi. The world is suffering. Parce que Bible a dit nous que mon la a ba pouvoir satan. The world lies in the power of the evil one. And many people are suffering. Not because there is lack of resources, but because of sin. En pile fois ça fait moun souffri. C'est pas parce que pas gen resource. C'est parce que péché. But you and I have an obligation. Moi même avoir gen obligation. Pour nous di moun sa yo ka péri. That Jésus remet yo. All we have to do is tell them that Christ loves you. There is nothing else that we got to do is just tell them that Jesus loves you. So you have the remedy for this sickness. Who can remed sa monde l'an besoin? Parce que te gagne tant tout, te besoin remed la tout. Because there was once you was used to be sick. So tonight we'll preach our, our message about God reconciled us to him in order that we might reconcile him to the world. Bon Dieu, réconciliez-nous avec Papa à Jésus-Christ. À cause bon Dieu, te ré, réconciliez-nous avec à Jésus-Christ, nous-mêmes, nous avons un message pour nous prêcher que Jésus te réconciliez-nous et Jésus veut réconcilier-nous. Mot lan tou. Ouvri bib nou nan Dekoretien chapitre 5 verset 18 a 20. Dekoretien chapitre 5 verset 18 a 20. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 18 through 20. The pastor Paul is speaking to the, to the church of Corinth. It says... Now all things of, are of God, who has reconciled us to himself through Jesus Christ, has given us the ministry of reconciliation. That is, 
that God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, not imputing their trespasses to them, and has committed to us the word of reconciliation. Verse 20. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as through God were pleasing through us. We implore you of, on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God, the word of God. I'm going to read it in the Creole. Please bear with me. They go a chance I'll be sing that said this with that thing. Tout ça sorti nan bon Dieu qui fait nous vinn zan mil avec vinn zan mil avec encore. Grand merci Christ là. C'est lui même tout qui fait une confiance qui bande travail ça pour mener les hommes vini bien avec encore. Parce que dans Christ là, bon Dieu t'a fait tout ça li t'est capable pour faire nous vinn bien avec encore. Li pa gade sou péché les hommes te fait. C'est lui même qui mettait moi là pour me faire les hommes connaît qui Jean l'a fait yon bien avec encore. C'est ça qui fait moi parler nan non Christ là même qui te voyé tant cou si c'est bon Dieu même Ka parler nan bouche mwen pou di nou ta pri nan non Christ la tourne vin bien ak bon Dieu encore amen comme chrétien nou gon mission sou terre bon Dieu pa mete nou sou terre el sauve nou pou nou jis vin l'église seulement Coming to church is good. You, we ought to come to church. But this is not our mission in life. Mission nous c'est pas pour nous venir l'église chaque dimanche. This is the practice field. This is where you come to get equipped. This is where I come to get the word of God. This is where I come to know God more so that I could grow in my knowledge of him. But this is not the playing field for us. En pile là nous penser l'en vinn l'église dimanche matin dimanche soir l'en al dans l'autre service yo dans semaine là n'a fait un bon bagage parce que nous vinn dans service which is good ou doit vinn dans service c'est un gros monde qui joue basket ou son on 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 monde qui joue football avant il a joué match yo joué a gain practice qui fait gain un traitement qui fait si moi même avant l'en vinn la dimanche l'en vinn la mercredi l'en vinn la jeudi l'en vinn la vendredi c'est dans traitement nouyé when we come on these days on the weekend on sundays whatever day you come to church all you doing is practicing for the big match cuz the big match is not in here Because our mission is not to save people that's already saved. Jesus said, I have not come to save those that are healed. But rather, I have come to save those which are lost. But Jésus n'est pas venu pour sauver les gens qui sont sauvés. But Jésus n'est pas venu pour sauver les gens qui sont guéris. Mais Jésus est venu pour sauver les gens qui sont malades. His mission is to save those that were lost. That is his mission. Ses missions sont gain, il vient pour sauver monde qui perdit. What happened when Adam and Eve sinned? Les Adam a Eve stay péché, ça a été fait. Ils étaient cachés. When they sinned, they were so they were so ashamed of the sin that they committed against God, ils couri à cacher. Tant qu'ils ont caché présence bon Dieu. There is nothing, there is nowhere you could go. There is nowhere I could go to hide from the presence of the Almighty God. Parce que David dit dans Psalm 139, you cannot hide from him. 
Ou pas cacher mon Dieu. Ou pas cacher tout l'autre monde. Bon, devant mon Dieu, pas qu'on coûte ou à pied, que mon Dieu pas ou. So Adam et Eve ont caché à cause de ça, ils ont fait. À cause des péchés qu'ils ont commis, mon Dieu dit, ils n'ont pas fait ça. Ils ont fait. They became shameful. And they went into hiding from the presence of God. What did God do after Adam and Eve sinned? And they went hiding from them, from him. Bon Dieu même, lui même. God himself went looking for them. Not that he had to look. He sees all things. He knows where they were. God says, Adam, where are you? Adam, qui ye? Adam sinned, but God went and looked for him. And that is our mission as Christian. Our mission is to look for the one that aren't living the life that God wants them to do because God wants everyone to have salvation. Vous voulez tout le monde là à soir, tout le monde entier. For God so loved the world that he gave what? His only son that whoever believe in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Vous direz mais le monde en pile qu'il ba seul petit li a pour qu'a sauver le monde entier. What is this reconciliation that we talk about? Qui ça réconciliation ça est? Why did I need to be reconciled to God? Pour qui ça moi vle réconcilier moun ak bon Dieu? Why must I reconcile people to God? And what did God did for me? When I was not of God. See, Paul tells us in Romans chapter, chapter 5, verse 1. Paul tells us, Mais qui sont à vivre en vente et contre bon Dieu. Now, Romans chapter 5, verse 1. Here's what the apostle Paul says. Romans chapter 5, verse 1. It says, Therefore, having been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. We have peace. In other words, for there to be peace, there must have been a time where you and I was not in peace with God. Take a moment in our life, we don't have peace with God. Parce que raison que nous gagnons la paix à mon Dieu, qu'on y a, est parce que Jésus-Christ est venu mourir pour le racheter, nous, pour le sauver. Nous. So, there were a time in your life, there were a time in my life, I was an enemy of God. Tu as gagné l'air dans la vie, moi, tu es ennemi, bon Dieu. Ou tu es ennemi, bon Dieu. You did not want anything to do with God. You were his enemy. I was his enemy. We did not want anything to do with the Almighty God. We didn't want to deal with God. We hated the ideal of God because God, we did not, we weren't friend, we weren't friends with God. It says in the Creole, Roman, Roman chapter 5, verse 1. He said, Kunya, Paske nous gain confiance na bon Dieu. Bon Dieu fait nous grâce na vivre sans qu'elle saute à bon Dieu. We are at peace. We are at peace with God through Jesus Christ, our Savior. We are justified by faith. And now we are at peace with God. And in verse 11, verse 10 should I say, the same Romans chapter 5 verse 10, here's what the Apostle Paul again says, for if when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Verse 11. And not, and not only that, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. Jésus, réconcilier nous à Papa. Nous t'es ennemi, mon Dieu, mais qu'on y a, 
bon Dieu, réconcilier nous avec papa. Dans le créole, il dit comme ça, Romain chapitre 10, chapitre 5, verset 10 à 11. Nous te l'ennemi avec bon Dieu, le petit bon Dieu a mouru pour te faire nous bien avec bon Dieu encore. Kounia, nous ces amis bon Dieu, nous pas besoin mandé li la vie petite bon Dieu a pas délivré nous. Et puis c'est pas ça seulement. Nous jouons tout plaisir nous dans bon Dieu. Grand merci Jésus-Christ. Seigneur nous an, qui fait nous bien à bon Dieu encore depuis Kounia. We are at peace with God. Moi, ma voix, nous avons la paix avec bon Dieu. Et à cause de moi, ma voix, nous avons la paix avec bon Dieu. À cause de nous avons la paix, nous avons la paix avec bon responsabilité pour nous réconcilier les gens qui ont bon Dieu. Pour nous réconcilier les gens qui ont bon Dieu. We have a lot of people that are enemies of God in the world. They do not want anything to do with God. You probably just went, oh, yeah, they don't want to deal with God. The thought of God, the ideal of God is nothing to them. Paul says, again, in 2 Corinthians, of ver or Keith, verse, in verse 19, it says, who has reconciled us through Christ and has given us the ministry of reconciliation. See, nous-mêmes, chrétiens, nous pas vivre tant que l'autre monde qui pas gain bon Dieu. Parce que nous compte bon Dieu gagne un gens qui nous vivent. Leur chrétien pas doit gagner elmi. Leur chrétien sous elmi a pour mon sous mon problème a pour le monde. Bon Dieu veut réconcilier avec. At times we are at odds with other people because although we are Christians we are still humans. I think differently than you do. You think differently than I do. In other words, at times, even a wife and a husband, even a father and a son could bump heads. Because we are humans. We don't see things different. We all see things differently. Although we see things differently, we may have an a, a, a disagreement. We may have problems at times. The Bible says Christ has now given us the ministry of reconciliation. Kounya, comme nous chrétiens, kounya, nous devons réconcilier avec les gens qui font nous tort. We have to reconcile with people, rather you want to or not, because you cannot reconcile God to others if you are not yourself reconciled to people who have wronged you. You want to be God's mouthpiece. You want to speak for God. I want to speak for God. In order for me to speak for God, in order for you to speak for God, our relationship with God must be on track. That's why Jesus says, if you're going to bring your offering at the altar, ou kon problème ap yon moun, ou ta pote offrande ou devant devant prête là, devant présence bon Dieu. Ou reconnaître que ou kon problème ap yon moun, ça bon Dieu Jésus dit, allez ap offrande nan, tourner, à réconcilier ap moun nan, après ça ou tourner pour t'offrande non. So we have an obligation to be reconciled. Since we have been reconciled with God, we must also be reconciled with other people who have wronged us. Jesus Christ came and he preached the good news. Jésus vini il prêche l'évangile. On sait l'évangile Jésus prêche. Repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repentis. Whatever you are doing, God is saying, repent. Whatever I am doing, God is saying, repent. For you to go preach the gospel, you yourself must be born again. Ou pa ka al preche yon moun de yon bagay ke ou pa koné. Ou pa ka al pale yon moun de yon moun ke ou pa koné. See, it's one thing to know information about people. It's another thing to know that person. Gen yon diferans ke informasyon konen de yon moun ke yon tan de nan TV, ke yon tan de nan YouTube, ke yon tan de ke yon jwen nan internet, ke actually pou konen moun nan vre. Pou konen yon moun fokin relaksyon ap moun nan. 
information que vous connaissez, pas assez pour dire, ah, je connais tout ça. C'est ça que vous faites, nous, nous pensez, nous connaissons eh, Michael Jordan, nous connaissons LeBron, nous connaissons tout le monde qui fait, monsieur, nous ne connaissons pas vrai. Nous connaissons pile l'information de vous, pour ça, pas vous que vous connaissez. Donc, le même way goes for us, in order for us to know Christ. Pour moi, je ne connais pas mon Dieu, pour moi, je ne connais pas Jésus, nous devons gagner une relation personnelle avec nous. We can, if we do not have a personal relationship with God, with Christ, we cannot go and preach the good news. Because preaching the good news literally means that you are a witness to Christ. Vous say un témoin. In order for you to be a witness, guess what? For one bagay. Vous no for tandon bagay. Ou pas qu'un témoin. You cannot go and testify in court and say, Well, this is what I think of the person. I think he's a bad person. Jesus l'a regardé autant qu'un monde qui est égaré. Parce qu'on ne peut pas témoigner de yon bagay qu'on ne peut De yon bagay qu'on ne peut pas De yon bagay qu'on ne peut pas But moi, je vais vous dire que Jésus, par la foi, nous allons témoigner de ça que Jésus fait dans la vie. Parce que Dieu a fait des grands et mighty things pour vous et moi. Nous pouvons testify à ce fait. And a lot of times, when you and I go preach the gospel, we don't just open Bible verses, we tell our own testimony. We tell the lives that we once used to live. Nous parlons de, de la vie qu'on a vécu avant Jésus. Nous parlons de la santé qu'on fait avant nous rencontrer maître là. Tu as une transformation qui fait dans la vie. Moi, je suis comme ça, moi, je suis comme je suis comme ça, je suis comme ça, je suis comme ça, je suis comme ça, je suis Jésus Christ, la vie me change complètement. This is our testimony. See, when you go preach, you tell your testimony. You tell, what has Christ done for me? It is not about, oh, bon Dieu, tu es béni, tu es bonne machine. Bon, ou dis, ou quoi le témoin, ou que bon Dieu, tu es béni, ou tu es bonne machine, ou bonne machine. 20 000 dollars avant, ou acheter pour une machine 20 000 dollars, vous avez gardé la machine, vous avez dit, ah, pour une machine 100 000 dollars, vous avez dit, là, vous n'avez pas besoin d'un corps, mon cher. Your car that you have costs 100, to cost 20,000, I have one that's 100,000. In other words, I'm more blessed than you. Je ne suis pas seul, vous avez dit, là, que, 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 bon Dieu, qu'il y a une machine, que, bon Dieu, qu'il y a une caille, ou est-ce qu'il y a 200 000 dollars, qu'il y a 20 millions de dollars, qui va être caille, ça, vous avez dit, là. It makes no sense for us to go tell people of things that God can give us. Yes. God can give us things, but that's not that important in, in, in retrospect. Ça qui est important et qui impact Jésus fait dans la vie. What has He done in your life and in my life that transformed me? Que mon monteur ailleurs, moi pas ça encore parce que me rencontre Jésus. See, when you go and you testify, you give a public testimony, a personal testimony of what Christ has done for you. People will be able to listen more than you go just tell them, oh, bon Dieu ben him, oh, I'm Haiti, bon Dieu rentre aux états unis so what? That's good, but so what? That's good, okay. Bon Dieu fait ça. I want a personal, moi besoin un on, te, on témoignage qui personnel. Qui sortait qu'on ne fait qu'on ne pas faire encore? Dans qui ça Jésus sauve? Si grand pile moun Jésus sauve ou dans un gang, il était mal fait. Bon Dieu sauve ou dans ça. En pile moun, il était vraiment pile femme. Bon Dieu se fit. Bon Dieu sauve ou dans ça. En pile moun, il était volé. Moment où il rencontre Jésus Christ, il n'a pas volé encore. So now, moun ça qu'on témoignage personnel qu'elle a dit à Pion Lord. Hé, hey, le message Jésus t'a fait pour moi. Moi, t'es élevé, mon Dieu. Moi, t'es raï, mon Dieu. Mais je dis à cause des relations que j'ai avec Christ, moi, réconcilié à Christ. Moi, j'ai la paix à Christ. Et à cause de la paix, ça, moi, je viens dire que Jésus a fait ça, il t'a fait pour moi, il t'a fait pour tout. Est-ce que vous avez besoin de Jésus-Christ la vie? Si ça qui est important pour nous, nous devons connaître que moi et ma voix, nous ne pouvons pas sauver quelqu'un. 
you must realize and you must know that you aren't able to save anyone. Pagen nou yon la ka sove yon ken yon lot moun. Ou pagen pou voir sa, bon dieu pa bon pou voir sa. Sou te la sou te pan sou te ka sove moun, you're wrong. Ou pa ka sove yon ken moun. So ka fe, however, ou ka ofri moun la yon moun ki ka sove le non moun sa che Jezi Kris. All you have to offer people is Jesus Christ. Don't say, oh, I can save you. Don't say, oh, I can heal you. No. Jesus Christ can save you. Not me. Oh, my job is to point you to that one man. Say, job moi sa, pou m point to, ke, de nom sa ki ka sovo la. Job moi se pa pou m di, oh, m ka sovo, paske m pa ka sove an ken moun. Bon, tel m pa ka sove an ken moun, men pou tek m pa ka sove. You cannot save yourself. If you can save yourself, there is no way you can save someone else. All we have to do as believers, all I have to do as a Christian is point people to the Messiah. And his name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That's all I could do. That is my mission in life is to point people to Jesus Christ. Nothing else. All I have to do is preach the good news. What do I know about Christ? Who is Christ in my life? Qui sa mon Dieu dans la vie? Il se redemptue, il se sauve. He is my all in all. He is my everything. Jésus c'est tout bagaille pour moi. La paix, la joie, la vie. Without him there is no life. In Christ I have peace. Not only do I have peace in Christ, I have hope. Dans Jésus moi j'ai espoir. Non Jésus, parce que Jésus c'est tout bagaille, tout ça qu'a pensé, tout ça bon, tout ça où t'as besoin dans la vie, Jésus c'est tout ça pour vous. He is a friend, he is a father, he is a mother, he is a husband, he is a wife, he is a son, he is a, he is all that you ever need in life. And you must know that. You must know that your goal in life. It's not to just come to church on Sunday. It's to go out there. Like the Apostle Paul. Paul says, Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. Paul dit, Danger à moi même, si m'pas prêche l'évangile Christ là. Because it is my mission, it is my purpose in life. Not to have money, not to have riches. My purpose in life, since I have now been saved, is to point people to his son, Jesus Christ. Paul says, God has reconciled the world to himself. Jésus mourit pour réconcilier le monde là, papa. Mais malheureusement, le monde n'a pas besoin de Jésus. The world denied Christ. The world said, I reject you, Christ. Not because what the work that Christ did on the cross wasn't suffice. It is suffice, but God has given all of us free will. Vous avez besoin de choix qui choix vous voulez faire. Est-ce que vous voulez choisir ou ce n'est pas vous Bon Dieu pas créé robot. Nous pas robot. You and I are not robots. God says, I want you to choose me because you want me. Not because I'm going to force you to choose me, but I want you to choose me. Because when you choose me now, you're going to obey me. When you choose me now, you will love me. You will do the things that I want you to do. But Jesus Christ has given us the ministry of reconciling the world to him. C'est pour ça là. Parce que nous reconnaître ça, Jésus fait pour nous. Parce qu'il réconcilie nous à papa. Et nous-mêmes tous, nous devons réconcilier le monde avec Jésus. Dans verset 20, on dit comme ça. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, as through God we're pleading through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. It is Paul's final appeal. Paul says, you and I 
The moment you become a Christian, you become an ambassador of Christ. The moment you accept Christ comme sauveur, you become an ambassador. So what is an ambassador of Christ? What does that even look like? So what is an ambassador to begin with? Generally speaking, an ambassador is a respected official acting as a representative in a foreign land but while working for another country. In other words, if I am ambassador of, of America, I could go to Haiti and be an ambassador of America. Malgré ma Haiti, ma vive Haiti, moi c'est un ambassade aux états unis Although I am living in a different land. So le un ambassade ou pas vivre dans pays côté au sotia. So as Christians, nous connaissons ça, c'est pas pour nous lier, c'est pas qu'il nous ça. Our citizenship, Paul says, in Philippians, I believe, is not of this world, but it is in heaven. So as an ambassador, you are supposed to represent the country that sent you to represent them. And you and I, our country is the kingdom of heaven. Nous représenter le royaume ciel là sous terre. The reason that the world as much trouble as much chaos cannot traverse dans le monde là. Raison que fait monde là pas pire dans fait noir que dans fait noir lié à et à cause de l'église qui là toujours. If there was no church, if we were not ambassadors of Christ, the world will be as much as upside down as it can be. Although it's upside down. But the reason it's not 25 times worse than it is now is because of the church. Parce que bon Dieu qui est ambassade, qui l'a, qui n'est pas qui n'est pas qui fait as long as nous l'a. So you are an ambassador of Christ. And Paul is urging you and I to be an ambassador of Christ as he himself was. Paul was an ambassador of Jesus Christ. We do not represent this world, but rather we represent the kingdom of God. And since we are an ambassador of Christ and not this world, there's only one thing that we ought to do. And that is to preach the gospel. Prêcher l'évangile Christ là. Paul says, we implore you. It's like Paul is pleading with the people. Paul is pleading with those. It's like you begging someone. Someone is about to die, right? Someone is about to die, but you are begging them, hey, I know a savior. I know a healer. I know a counselor. I know a comforter. I know that person that can heal you. You are begging them, hey, please, please come to that person for salvation. And they are saying no. Not no Not beg moun Vini, vini jen jezi. A pil nan nou lam koning nou gen moun na beg yo. We are begging them to come to the gospel. We are begging them to accept Christ as their personal savior. We are begging them to come to the knowledge of truth. We are begging them to come to Jesus Christ. We are begging them to come. So what is our purpose? Our purpose is know that we have been reconciled to God. And as a result of that fact that Christ has reconciled us to God in his death and resurrection, you and I must also strive to reconcile the world to God through Jesus Christ. Say mission nous à l'église. Jesus says, go therefore and preach the gospel to all nations. What is the gospel? That Jesus Christ came, he died so that you can be saved. Jésus vini, li mouri, li souffri pour nous, mais ressuscité 
Si vous acceptez, vous avez eternal life. You have a responsibility. En pile dans nous, myself included, we know a lot of people that does not know God. How often do we talk to them about God? How often do we preach them the good news that Jesus loves you. And if you never taken that responsibility, so pas jamb pran responsabilité sa, ke bon Dieu ban nou. An pil nan nou panse fon a l'ekol pou preche l'evangile, no. An pil nan nou panse yo se pastek dwe preche l'evangile, no. We are all on mission. Nou tout nan mission. All of us have a role. All of us have a responsibility to preach the good news, to go and tell the world that Jesus died and that he died, he resurrected and that he loves you and that he wants a relationship with you. The reason that Christ saved you is that you could preach the good news to someone else so that they could be saved as well. Paul says in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 through 10, You have been saved through grace by faith. It is not of yourself. It is of God. So that no man can boast. Nous sauver par la foi en Jésus Christ. But Jésus pas sauver nous pour juste sauver nous pour chita sous ban. C'est un qu'on paquet ou jouer non 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 football team ou jouer non basketball team ou faire practice ou faire practice ou pas jamais jouer. Non pas s'arrêter. It is time that the church, it is time that we as believers get off the bench and get into the game to preach people that are lost, to preach the good news of Jesus Christ. You and I cannot stay on the bench for too long. It is time that we get in the game to preach the good news of Jesus Christ. May the Lord bless you.